As the United States steps up its campaign against militants in Afghanistan and Pakistan, we learned today that four years ago, the Bush administration ordered something else, secret missions against al-Qaeda in more than a dozen countries around the world. The New York Times broke that story. One of the authors was Mark Mazzetti. He joins us now from Washington. Mr. Mazzetti, thank you for being with us. Tell us where these attacks occurred and who were the targets? Well, we know where some of the attacks have occurred. They occurred uh, inside Syria, inside Pakistan, inside Somalia. Uh, they were uh, targeting uh, mid-level or, in some cases, more senior-level al-Qaeda figures. Uh, they were, uh, there have been a, a dozen or so uh, attacks uh, kind of a, around the Muslim world, and um, the authorities were granted by, um, by the president himself. And then we also understand from your article that a number of these anticipated attacks were actually called off at the last minute, um, one of them going after a very specific target. What can you tell us about that? Yeah, we write in our story that there was a, a planned operation in early 2005 that was going after what, who they believe uh, was Ayman Zawahiri, oh, bin Laden's number two. Uh, the plan, the mission was planned. There were people actually ready to go. They were in planes. And at the very last minute, the mission was scrubbed in, in, because some people thought the intelligence wasn't good enough and maybe it was a little too risky for U.S. troops. And now during the campaign, President-elect Obama has signaled his willingness to go after terror targets. Is there any reason to believe that he won't continue the policy that the Bush administration authorized? Uh, I could see him certainly continuing parts of the policy. He, as you said, has pledged to go after al-Qaeda operatives inside Pakistan, for instance. And so he would probably not want to hamstring himself too much or limit his abilities to go after al-Qaeda. Obviously, though, some of those countries are very politically sensitive, so he might want to tread lightly. And quickly, any way to know how successful overall these missions have been? Well, the military and other officials we've talked to have said that they're, in some cases, were successful. They have uh, have got either captured or killed um, sort of mid-level al-Qaeda operatives, whether they be in the Horn of Africa or South Asia uh, or in the Middle East. Uh, but uh, obviously, the, the, the senior most al-Qaeda figures are still, on, on, uh, still at large. Mark Mazzetti with the New York Times talking about an article out today on secret missions authorized by the Bush administration. Thank you. Thanks for having me.